display the PDF sheet music file of any item, just tap the View button of your chosen item. If the item has been bought, or it is one of the included free items, the complete score will be displayed. Otherwise, only the first page of the selected item will be shown. When you are in score mode, you can turn pages by just sliding on the score right to left, to turn pages forward, left to right, to turn pages back. You can also just tap the score once to turn pages quickly forward. You can also zoom in and out with your two fingers to make the score bigger or smaller. You can further control the zoom level by using the options available by tapping the display button at the bottom right of the score toolbar. To make appear and disappear the score tools, just double tap the score. When the score tools are displayed, you have access to more functions. At the top left you find the back button, which allows you to exit the score view mode and get back to the item info display. At the top right you find two buttons. The first button is the shopping cart button, which, for priced items, allows you to purchase any item in our catalogue. The second button is the same options button, which I'm going to talk to you about in a separate video. At the bottom you find the page slider, which allows you to easily browse the displayed music or uh, jump uh, right to the beginning or to the end of the displayed score. At the bottom left you find the Action button, which allows you to perform different actions such as printing the music directly from your mobile device, if you have a compatible AirPrint printer, or to send the PDF sheet music file via email for later printing with a regular computer. On the bottom right of the score tools, you'll find, from right to left, the View Options button, which I have already mentioned, the Rotation Control button, the Zoom Lock button, the Performance Mode button and the Audio Media button. Let's see how all these buttons work. The Rotation Control button allows you to lock the display orientation in order to avoid the application to rotate the score automatically if you change your device's orientation. The next button is the Zoom Locking button. It allows you to lock any zoom level you wish to keep between page turns. For example, if a score can be zoomed in a little bit more in order to have a bigger view of it, you can just zoom it manually, okay, to make it fit, and then lock the zoom level with this button to keep it the same zoom level through the score. It's gonna work even if you turn the pages, right? Be pretty useful for some kind of scores. Let's talk a little bit again about the display button which control easily how to make fit the page on your device's display. If you tap the horizontal fitting button, the score will be fitted horizontally. If instead you tap the vertical fitting button, the score will be fit vertically. These buttons are really useful when you display your music in landscape mode. For example, the Fit Horizontally button makes the music displayed as large as possible. And if you slide your finger in this mode, the application will turn the pages only if you are at the bottom of them, otherwise the page will be smoothly scrolled instead. You can control 
the scrolling speed inside the settings panel, which I'm going to talk to you about in a separate video. Back to the score toolbar, the second button from the bottom right is the performance mode button, which allows you to put the application in performance mode. Once you are in performance mode, the only commands that the application accepts are the page turn commands, such as moving the page back and forward. That avoids to trigger accidentally other functions, not usually needed during performance. To exit performance mode, just double tap with three fingers. And then we have the audio media button, which gives you access to the included audio mp3 files for the displayed item. Similarly to the item view, you can access regular mp3 audio files as well as mp3 accompaniment files for those items that include such accompaniment files. With uh, mp3 accompaniment files, you can easily play along with your device while the accompaniment part is playing and you read the music from the score. Since version 4.0 of the application, we have introduced annotations. You can annotate on the score at any time by just tapping on the annotate button. Once in annotation mode, the annotations palette will appear at the top of the screen. Just select the tool you want to use to either annotate on the score or delete annotations. Since version 4.6, we have also added symbols and text annotations. Click on the corresponding tool to either add music symbols to your music or simple text. You can also change the color of the notations as well as define other settings. In annotation mode, you can only zoom in and zoom out. You cannot turn pages or do anything else than annotate on the score. When you are done with your in-page annotations, tap the Done button. Annotations are non-destructive and can be disabled at any time with their on-off switch. Since version 4.6, you can also add jump buttons to your music. Jump buttons allow you to easily create custom buttons on the score to jump from one page to another during performance. For example, with jump buttons you can quickly turn several pages back when a repeat line a da capo or a dal segno is required in doing that. To enter jump buttons mode, just tap on the jump buttons button on the right of the slider bar. Once in jump buttons mode, you can hold and drag your finger on the score to create jump buttons or just hold and leave your finger to create targets. Once a button is created, it can be linked to a target, so you can jump from one page to another during performance by just tapping once on that button. Since version 4.3, we have introduced the Auto Page Turn feature, which uses your device's camera to automatically turn pages by tracking the movement of your head. To activate the Auto Page Turn feature, just click on the corresponding button. Such a feature is available as a priced add-on. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter at www.virtualsheetmusic.com newsletter 
to stay updated with the latest news and application updates.